Mr. Rider, thanks for joining me once again. Now you might remember this video here. Okay, so that was the Mark I version. It was always a prototype, and this is a video about the, the Mark II version that I'm going to be making. Okay, so let's first of all see how the original one is faring. And I'm happy to say that actually it's doing very well. The caster is still in good shape. Okay, so we've got two main parts to this. This is the main steel plate that goes into the ground, and then we've got this scaffolding plank here as well, which sits on top of it. So to start with this one, uh, we've got a five mil thick steel plate, 300 by 300. These holes here act as fixing points to fix it down into the ground. So they'll be fixed via security boats of some description. Um, on here, we have a bearing casing that was about 30 pounds to, to, to uh, source um, with a 12 mil hole in the top of it. Um, so the, what the idea being is that the spindle from this plank goes down into there and it stops the board from doing this sort of left and right business. Then underneath we've got a spindle which again this here, this spindle goes in there and then straight out into this tube. I like that is a little tube in there. Okay so one of the things that took a lot of time to think about and suss out in my mind was I had to try and create a seesaw effect with the scaffold board here for the bike to go on. Obviously when the bike goes on, it wants to be tipped down. And uh, when the bike's on, it wants to pivot back up to the, the, the where the caster is, the wheel. Um, so what I've come up with is I've got a, a, a gate set up. The, these, these here are gate hinges. And then this pole here is some sort of gate hinge as well. You have to look around a bit to find this stuff, but, um, and then I've just put a through bolt in there. So basically, if I can lift it up, it's quite heavy. Um, when it sits in the, in the mountain plate underneath, this here acts like that. So it can tip up and down, and this can stay in one position and still spin. So the actual plank itself consists of this metal U-shaped tube in here, known as Unistrut. That's the actual brand for it. Um, so if you search any electrical online wholesaler, most of them will sell something like this, this Unistrut stuff. Um, it's good stuff because it's really thick, really strong. And what I've been able to do is rebate a, a line on each side of the board, this side and this side, all the way down through and just basically got a nice tight fit and just banged the new channel on. And what that's done then is it's given it much more rigidity. So it's going to be a lot less stress on the actual scaffolding plank itself. So as it happens, I don't really get a lot of, uh, um, a lot of flex in the plank now, even when I'm sat on the bike and I'm spinning around the, the actual table itself. And on the actual caster itself, I've got a uh, uni strut um, angle plates and they're just bolted together with M10 bolts. So these actually go up like this in an S shape and uh, make this really strong. Um, it doesn't bend hardly at all. And then underneath, I have used some angle plates and joined them together. Hopefully you can see that. Join them together so it kind of creates a, a clamping action on the actual scaffold board. So it goes up there, across here, and then onto this part where the actual caster sits. Um, these here are from B&Q, Home Depot, whatever you want to uh, call it. And then these brackets again are from any, well, from most electrical wholesalers. TL in the UK, got TLC um, and places like that. They, they sell this stuff. Um, and what else have we got? Yeah, nuts and bolts are just from wherever you can get nuts and bolts from. Okay, so I need to work out the position of the new one now. 
And what I'm gonna do is I want it close up to this wall here when it turns because I know that it's quite tight either side on the axis. I've already worked out the balancing point and I've put the main center spindle back towards the, the, the back end of the board as opposed to nearer the front or, or in the center um, just to balance the bike out basically. One thing I do need you to remember actually is that this plate I am actually going to sink it into the ground and so it's going to be a bit higher at the moment but I'm going to cut a, bit, a slab of concrete out and set this into the ground. When I try it it's going to be too high for me that, that you know I'm going to be on tiptoes a bit so by the time I sink this probably an inch, inch and a half then it's going to be absolutely fine and also it's going to make the um, entrance onto the plank much easier as well, much lower. Okay, so remember, I am going to sink this into the ground, all right? I am going to be on tiptoes at the moment, but... Uh Easy. Feather light, that is. Piece of cake. Back off. Perfection. Back on again. Piece of cake. It's a winner. Yep, so that's good. Um, by the time this sinks into the ground, then it's going to make it that much easier and I'll be on pretty much the balls of my feet there. So um, good stuff, much easier. Very happy with that. Okay, so you're probably wondering what the cost of all this was. Well, this I had to get machined because I don't own a welder. I could probably do all this if I had the gear, but I don't own a welder and I don't own a lathe, unfortunately. So um, for the spindle to be welded to this plate and the plate itself, it was about £65 I had to pay for that. The scaffold plank, £20. Um, bearing in mind that I had to cut it in half, so I've actually still got half left. So we got the caster wheel was seven pounds. All the other bits and bobs come to another 10 pounds. So yeah, all, all in all, it added up to about this much. So still got bits to do with it, but um, I can't get any materials at the moment because we're on lockdown. So just waiting for that. When I can, I'll chop that plate into the ground, make it a lot lower. Click the subscribe would be much appreciated. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been useful to you and maybe you can do something better if you know if you can and uh, let me know um, I'll be interested in knowing see you next week
thing you've ever been on. Okay. <laughs> Come on.